Good afternoon and welcome to Two A Day on your Packer Link Up. Today is Tuesday, August 12th, and you're watching the 5 o'clock edition. Well, I thought today we'd go a little bit deeper into the quarterback situation for the Green Bay Packers after seeing them play of the first preseason game. Once again, Aaron Rodgers didn't look bad. Uh, he looked controlled. He looked poised. His ball, the ball he was throwing looked good. Uh, uh, his stats, again, 9 of 15 for 117 yards, had one interception and one touchdown. Uh, but the interception, and I'm hesitant to do this because nobody ever gave Brett Favre had to count every single one of his interceptions. He didn't get any of them taken off because the receiver didn't catch the ball. Uh, but to some extent, that was true. The, uh, Chris Francis just missed that catch. It was right. That was actually one of Rodgers' most accurate passes of the night, right on the numbers if you look at that. And uh, he just let it get into his body and bounce off the, his uh, chest pad. And that's all it took for a pick. So uh, we're going to move past that. Uh, Rodgers, uh, looking at the way he threw the ball, his mechanics were very good. He had the ball out. He released, had a quick release. Uh, he was accurate on the run, rolling out of the pocket through a nice, accurate pass to Donald Driver. Had some good passes in traffic that uh, made their mark and uh, got some some uh, catches that way. A couple things of concern, however. On um, third down in the, the, I believe it was the first drive, we had a third down and he had a guy open and overthrew him high. And those are passes he'd like to have back. Those are passes we need for Aaron Rodgers to make when, when the receiver's open, not to get excited and throw high and out of bounds. We've got to have those passes on the money. That's one thing that didn't work out well. Also, the long ball. There's been some question on the link up. One of our forums talking about where's our long ball. Last year, uh, Brett, early in the season, folks were saying he didn't have the long ball. He really responded. And, uh, of course, we all remember the Denver game. That touchdown pass to Greg Jennings, first play of overtime, amazing. We had the long ball. And after that, we counted on it in the, the game against the Chiefs. There were other times. When we needed Brett to throw the long ball, put it on the money, and he did so. So, And that's not to make a comparison. That's just simply to say Aaron Rodgers' drop back had uh, James Jones wide open. And Jones has been quoted as saying, no, I, it was catchable. I should have I made a better adjustment and got it. And Aaron Rodgers saying, no, I wish I had that one back. I could have taken a little more off of it. But we do want to see whether it's the quarterback or the receiver for those guys to get on the same page and, and make those. That could have been an easy walk-in touchdown. We really need those points on the board, as you can see. We lost by three. We could have been up by, uh, you know, trading it off, ended up up by four yeah, with just that pass back, possibly. So, again, you know, if ifs, ands, or buts for candy and nuts every day would be Christmas. But we, we do want to see Aaron connect on that long ball. One other pass that was actually a complete pass, and yesterday evening, I guess it was late at night for me here in northeast Tennessee, I made a mistake on who caught that ball, that sort of adjustment pat, uh, catch. It was Ruvel Martin, not James Jones, who made that catch. It was a, it was a nice catch, good adjustment. Uh, but if, looking at that a second time, and again, it's, it's in, in hindsight here, uh, but that pass was not far enough to the outside. It was not far enough off the receiver's shoulder. Um, if, if one of the RDBs that we're going to run up against in the uh, NFC North division, a lot of the guys we're going to go up against, that would have just flat been a pick. Um, or Ruvel Martin would have had to fight for it, and it probably would have been incomplete. So, uh, again, the, the tape, the tail of the tape will tell Aaron he's got to get that, that ball closer to the outside sideline, back shoulder of the receiver, and uh, hopefully that will be a correction that's made and an experience that's learned. That's what the preseason is all about, and he can move on from there and not make that mistake again. But, uh, again, you know, that was one that sometimes it's just on the receiver. It's going to be that way at times. And Ruvel Martin, uh, kudos for making a great adjustment, a great catch on that play. Love to see it. Uh, hope he's okay. Wherever, all indications are he's fine. They just took him out as a precautionary measure later on after that big hit he took. Um, so, so that pass just needs to be fine-tuned. Another pass that really needs to be fine-tuned, that James Jones touchdown catch, that was way high for James Jones. Uh, he brought it in. I give him all the credit for that one, for bringing in the ball, for taking a 
huge hit that he had to come down for, and then to just go ahead and traipse into the end zone with no helmet. Uh, we don't need no stinking helmet. Run it right in for six points. Uh, what a great play. But but for Aaron's side of that, you got to dial that one down a little bit, bring it into the bread basket so he can catch that on the run. If he had caught it on the run, he would have probably been able to deliver a much harder hit to the DB at the time and uh, and then run it in to, for a touchdown anyway, which is, of course, what we hope happens. So uh, all around, the receivers seem to be on the same page as Aaron. Seem to be working hard for him. He seems to be out there really trying hard to make plays, not playing outside of himself, but really working hard, being active, on his feet, rolling out and making some passes, and then standing in the pocket when he needs to. We had a breakdown in coverage. Brandon Jackson misread a uh, safety blitz, didn't pick up the blitzer, and Aaron Rodgers went down. So these are correctable things, and hopefully um, we'll get our offensive line squared away and get that solidified and then have none of these mistakes when the season rolls around. So looking forward, uh, a real quick week for the Packers. Coming up, uh, play on Saturday. I believe they play the 49ers. So uh, uh, it will be interesting to see Aaron Rodgers starting in a game that uh, old Alex is possibly not going to be the starter for the 49ers. In fact, they're talking about an old guy we recognize, J.T. O'Sullivan, may be the starting quarterback for the 49ers this year. Because of the Mike Mark system, he, he was with the Detroit Lions last year, and that is kind of a he's hit the ground uh, running over there and may, in fact, take the starting role, which is, hey, that's just great. Um, but A-Rod uh, will be out on the field starting, and we'll see how he does. So, again, good to have the preseason game under our belts and move on with the short week. The short week uh, puts us a little under the gun for our injuries. I don't think our injury list is going to get a whole lot shorter this time around. But, hey, some young guys will get a chance to play, and uh, we'll see how they do. So uh, from here down in northeast Tennessee, to all you Packer fans, uh, until the 10 o'clock show, go Pack.